good with money is about more than just making ends meet. Don't worry if you're not a math whiz. Professional math skills are not required. You just need to know basic addition and subtraction to budget your money. So, let's discuss some important tips about money budgeting today. But before moving ahead, welcome to FIRE, the best YouTube channel about finance and money. So please take a moment, go down and hit the like button, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe to stay connected. Although money can't buy happiness, it can bring a sense of security. Without a handle on money management, you will feel like your life is one step away from a budgetary cliff. 25% of Americans say they worry about money all the time. Studies show that two-thirds of Americans struggle to save thousands of dollars to cover a financial emergency. You need to develop and maintain a strategic distance from being in those kinds of circumstances. This means knowing how to manage your money. When you manage your funds well, life may not get more accessible, but you've got more time to focus on important things in your life. Budgeting your funds doesn't need to be overwhelming. How you spend your money affects your credit score and the amount of guilt or stress you carry. If you're battling with money management issues such as living paycheck to paycheck despite making more than enough money, then here are a few steps to improve your financial habits. Step 1. How much do you make? The first thing you should do is figure out how much money you are bringing in. You should look at your net income. This is what's left after deductions for Social Security, taxes, health care, and other possible deductions. After those deductions, calculate how much money is left in your bank account at the end of each month. If you count on any regular income, such as freelancing, you can use the average earnings for the previous 6 to 12 months. Then, give yourself some more wiggle room by estimating conservatively. You may round that number down or simply take the lowest recorded earnings. Step 2. Track your spending. You need to look hard at where all of your money is going now that you know how much money is coming in. Take a look at the fixed and necessary expenses first. Phone bills, credit and debit card statements, energy bills, mortgage payments, student loans, and anything else that requires a monthly payment are all examples of this. Gathering all of your bills and statements from the previous months helps ensure that you don't miss anything. Take a look at how much money you spend on those things each month. Depending on your preferences or the spreadsheet you're using, you can be as vague as you want. For example, you can group certain expenses under housing, or you might list rent, gas, and electric bills separately. Take a look at your variable costs next. This includes money spent at restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, shopping, etc. Again, you can be as specific as you want this time. Just make sure to keep a record of everything. Subtract that amount from your monthly income once you've tallied up all your monthly expenses. If the result is negative, you've overspent. This implies you'll have to make some adjustments to your budgeting strategy. You're on the correct track if your total is positive. However, there's always room for improvement, so you should be prepared to make some sacrifices. Step 3. How much do you owe? So, we know where your money has gone. It's now time to focus on the areas where you owe money. In this part, add up your debts, including car loans, mortgages, school loans, credit card debt, and other debt payments. Knowing how much debt you have can be scary at first. Putting a number to it, on the other hand, will help you pay it off in a more practical way. Making a budget in the first place is a good start in paying off your bills. When you finish creating your budget, you'll be able to see where you can save money. Then, you can use those extra funds to pay down your debts. Friends, do you have any questions so far? Do comment below. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. Keep watching, we'll discuss the fourth step, which is very helpful for budgeting your money. Step four, set your goals. Okay, it's time to take a break from the stats for a moment. Set some financial goals for yourself before you get back into it. Do you want to put more money aside for retirement? Do you need to save money for your children's college education? Do you desperately want to pay off your student loans within five years? You should set both short and long-term goals. That way, you'll be able to strive for your goals and celebrate when you reach them. Keep in mind that these simple goals should include a savings element. It's very important to save for retirement, an emergency, and future expenses if you want to be financially successful. So, while saving for your next flat screen TV may seem more exciting at first, don't ignore the basics. If it helps you more, you can also set exact dollar amounts for these goals. 
For example, instead of saying that you want to save money this year, say that you want to save $500 by the end of the year. You'll then be able to keep a better eye on your progress and make necessary budget cuts to reach that goal. Step five, make a plan. Now, let's get back to your budget. It's time to devise a strategy. This entails budgeting for your monthly expenses rather than spending in the moment. To begin, make a list of your necessary expenses. Rent, utilities, gas costs, and other expenses fall into this category. Each month, these are the items you can't live without. Make a note of these costs in your budget. By necessity, you should also include a savings piece. That way, rather than making savings expendable, you'll have an account for it and can stick to it each month. If you have problems with saving, savings accounts with automatic monthly deposits or accounts where purchases are rounded up to the nearest dollar and added to a savings account are simple to set up. This allows you to set it and forget it while still making progress. Next, analyze your more frivolous expenditures. This is where you must be completely honest with yourself. For example, is it really necessary to purchase a new pair of shoes every month? Or perhaps you and your family eat out too often. If you can't entirely remove anything, try lowering your spending in a few different areas. For example, instead of completely eliminating eating out, your daily coffee, and shopping at the mall, just cut back on them a bit. While it may be difficult to give up certain luxuries at first, increasing your money and paying off debts should be your top priorities, and soon you'll be excited about how much you're saving. Step six, follow your budget and adjust as necessary. Now that you've created one, it's time to keep to your budget. This can be challenging at first, particularly when it comes to limiting your fund spending. However, making a budget is useless if you don't stick to it. So keep a watchful eye on your finances, especially at the beginning. It's important to keep in mind that you'll have to change your budget as you go. You can put more money towards savings and dining out if you get a raise. On the other hand, if you're sick or you lose your job, you may have to limit your wants even further. Or if, for example, gas prices rise, you may need to make some adjustments. Don't just make a budget and then forget about it or make excuses if you exceed it. Understanding how to budget will be extremely advantageous to you and your financial position. Taking stock of your finances will give you better control over them. That way, you'll be able to save more money, pay off your bills, and put more money into your future. Choose to start budgeting your finances effectively today. Then implement each of these tips over time. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Take it one step at a time. I've got a budgeting pro tip for you. Luckily, you no longer have to create a budget on your own or from scratch. There are multiple online budgeting tools and guidelines available to help you start. You can also use various smartphone apps to keep track of your spending. Apps can also alert you when you're on the edge of overspending in a particular area. Get advice from a professional. A financial advisor can help you develop a realistic financial strategy and then ensure you stick to it. A matching tool such as Smart Assets or Smart Advisors can help you find someone to work with who meets your requirements. You'll start by answering a series of questions about your circumstances and objectives. The algorithm will then filter down your choices from thousands of advisors to just three fiduciaries who meet your requirements. You can then read their profiles to learn more about them, have a phone or in-person interview with them, and decide who you want to collaborate with in the future. This allows you to find a good match while the program will take care of a lot of the legwork. So folks, you may still have some questions related to money budgeting. If so, leave them in the comment section below. We will help you in learning more. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified of our latest content. If you wanna make money and enjoy financial freedom, then FIRE is for you. Thanks for your time.